Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a change that happened with the Samsung One UI update with the ability of doing a screen recording or recording your gameplay. So lately I've done quite a few videos for the Samsung One UI update. Quite a few comments, which is more than what I thought, was talking about the ability of recording uh, gameplay or even just recording pretty much anything on your screen. So with my update here, with inside of the game launcher, it gives you the ability to record your gameplay, but I believe a lot of the question stems from the very top with these quick settings, where beforehand you had the option of actually changing which type of mode you were in, if it was like performance mode or game mode. So here's the Galaxy Note 9 that has the old version of the U, you know, user interface by Samsung. And when you go inside of this performance mode, you're able to change it over into game, which allows you to pretty much record almost anything that you're looking at except for you know YouTube and pretty much the main stuff that makes sense for copyright reasons uh, and so I wanted to show you where at in this phone you're able to still do your game recording gameplay um, as well as what is another application you could use that could really just record anything that you look at you know if you need to show something with maybe your settings or a different application so I will cover both one that is actually pre-installed within your Samsung device, as well as another one that you can get for free off of the Play Store. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top. Check out all the videos I've made so far for the past Samsung Galaxy devices, as well as this brand new playlist that is called Samsung One UI. So first off, let's talk about Game Launcher. This is the built-in game recorder or screen recorder that is on your Samsung Galaxy device. It's a way that you're able to turn this on. It gives you a whole bunch of game tools and it's actually with inside of the advanced features. So first to get this icon to your homepage or at least just to basically enable this, let's pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says advanced features. Now inside of advanced features, you're gonna see an option right here for Game Launcher. Now Game Launcher is a way that you're able to organize all of your games in one place. It gives you additional, you know, extra features that enhance your gameplay experience, which one of them is to lock the screen, uh, block notifications, as well as record your gameplay. So once you turn this one on, then it's going to ask you, would you like to add this icon to your home screen? So you're able to add that to the home screen and you can see that it originally went away because I did turn it off. So let's say that we move this game launcher right back over into the main home screen of pretty much this device. Um, the other thing that you can do is when you go through here, um, a lot of your games are actually gonna be inside of the application launcher, but you don't need it to be inside of the app tray. So if you go inside of the game launcher, just go to the very top right hand side for the more options and go to settings and hide all of the games on the home and the apps screen. So this way, all of the games that you already downloaded to your device will be inside of game launcher. And here's all the games. My son actually plays a ton of games on this device. And when you go back over into your application tray here, you can see that there's all those games are now gone. So it puts it into one place. Now let's say we go inside of Toon Blast, which this is one of the games that I actually play a lot. It's a little bit like Candy Crush and play with my mom and my sister and, and a whole bunch of other friends. And so basically once you go inside of this game here, if you swipe up from the bottom, this is where you have your game tools. So you still have your recents home and back. This right here, this little icon on the very bottom right hand side, you are able to change, but this is the lock screen. It's pretty nice. You're able to put this in your pocket or put it away if you need to pause for just a second. And then you swipe that little lock button to unlock it. But this icon on the very bottom left hand side, when you click on that one, uh, this is where you can check out your calls and notifications. You can block them. Um, and then you also have advanced game features. You can head over into settings on this. Uh, this is where you can check out your screenshot resolution. Do you want it to be a hundred percent? Um, how would you like it to be recorded? Uh, so you can change if you want your image there. So I did actually change my image. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller so it doesn't take up all the space. You can have it set as none, your image or the front facing camera. So this way, if you wanna record what you're doing and your face and everything else, it will be able to take that. The format, I put it as the MPEG. You can also create it as a GIF. Um, your audio source, this is pretty important. You want it to come from the game 
or from your microphone. If you have it from the microphone, turn down the volume just a little bit so it's not so loud, and it can also pick up your voice when you're playing the game. Or if you only want the game audio uh, and you can add your voice later, then you can do it as game. You can change the resolution down to the very bottom here. So I have the 1080px, uh, your bit rate, I just have mine as auto, and then the uh, full screen for the aspect ratio. So this is pretty much how you're able to go through some of the, uh, uh, the settings for your game tools. Um, now let's go back over inside the game tools here, and this is where you have your record button. Now you can go inside of this uh, advanced game features, you can show the navigation buttons on the bottom, you can do pop-up panel, the auto screen lock, things like that. Um, inside of here as well you can change your shortcuts, so some people might be confused or thinking that they cannot record, but it's because your shortcut is set up to the screen touch lock. You can put it as record if you want to, but I'm going to keep it as you see it when we first turn this one on so you know how to record the gameplay. So now we're time to play the game and get it recorded. So hit on your game tools, hit on record, and now it's recording. You can place this wherever you want it to, but just remind you right now, uh, it is recording at this moment in time. So with me moving this around, um, it will be picking everything up. Let's say that we go inside of the game. Uh, and again, this could be camera or you could hide it. Um, so let's just hit a few things here. Um, and when you're actually done with recording of the gameplay, when you swipe down, this is where you can tap it to stop the recording. And your videos will be inside of not only the game launcher, but also your gallery. So to gallery, you head over to your gallery, this is where your video is, you hit on play, and now it's playing. You can see here that it is moving my image, that's what I did at the very beginning of the video. Uh, you put it right over here, it's going to take you into the gameplay, and you can see the quality is actually pretty nice. So this is how you are able to record um, your application, this is how you're able to record the gameplay. When you do pull down the notifications panel to stop the video, that is where inside of your video trimmer, just take off the very last one second so you don't see the very end. Now let's talk about a different application if you did not want to use the one that's already built into the Samsung Galaxy devices. Uh, it's referred to as AZ Screen Recorder, and I've used this one for quite a long time uh, before I even noticed that even Samsung even had one built within their phones. When you basically download AZ Screen Recorder, you just search for that on the Play Store, it'll come up with a small little pop-up over here. You can do your video recording here. Um, you have a whole bunch of different settings. You can even have an encoder. You can have a magic button your stop options, you can have it um, as notification and, and a whole bunch of different things that you're able to do with this one. You can change your resolution. Uh, did you want it to be pretty high resolution? You want it to be pretty standard resolution? What's your frame rate, the bit rate? Orientation, you want it to be um, auto. Record audio, you also have text. And, I mean, there's so many different things that you are able to do with this one. I'm not gonna go through all the settings. Definitely something that you are able to play with. And the nice thing I like about this one is that I can hit record right now. Um, it says right here that the AZ screen recorder will start capturing everything that's displayed on the screen. So I'm gonna hit on start now. You can actually hit that little that little toggle button to make it to not show again. And sometimes maybe you just need to show somebody how to change a setting on a phone. So if you pull this down and you just tell people, hey, go to your settings, uh, go to device care. Um, you're gonna go right up over here into auto optimization. I mean, you're, you're going through anything and everything that you need to go through. Um, and you can also, again, open up game launcher, then you can open up a game. Um, and the thing that's nice about it is that when you pull this on down and you hit on stop, every single thing I just did is now recorded. So you can see here that it starts uh, with the normal screen itself. This is where I'm speaking, pull down the notifications panel. This is where I went into the settings. I went into more stuff. Um, you'll notice that I also went into the game. So there's really two options you're able to do. Uh, but with this one here, you're gonna notice that it'll also stop or should stop also with YouTube and Netflix and everything else so you're not doing any of that copyright type of stuff. Um, but if you need to record something that that is not a game, you can use AZ Screen Recorder. Um, if you want to record within the game, you might as well use the game tools that is already given to you. But again, that is your choice. Um, when you are finished and done with this one, um, you do have to hit on that X and then you're completely out of that application. And anything I shot is inside of my gallery here. You can see that I do have both of the games from before from Game Tools, and then the one game that I did, and also the settings through AZ Screen Recorder. So I wanted to make a really fast, simple, easy, to the point video, letting you guys know, hey, when you update to the Samsung One UI, a lot of things has changed. Um, a lot of it's moved around, maybe something was taken off, but you're not really missing a whole lot. Um, I will cover some of the stuff with the uh, uh, photo 
editing type of things so the photo editor pro is gone but i have another option you can choose and use that's way better than the samsung photo editor pro other than that i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe you can subscribe right over here with that little red circle on the very bottom left hand side you can share this video with your friends and family and social media sites make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button if you guys learned something new and i'll see you guys later Let's go.